Hi everyone, welcome back. Today's class is a shortish handstand class. You don't need to be able to do handstands to practice this class, but if you are working towards them, it might offer you some nice tools and create some sort of core connections or deep internal connections to start to begin to trust yourself a little bit more and get on your hands. All right, so we're going to start lying down on our backs and just come to a Supta Baddha Konasana. So feet come together, the knees come up wide, and then just go ahead and lay down. We'll take a couple moments here, again, stopping before we start the class, just checking in with where we're at before we practice. And then you can take your right palm, place it over your belly button, your left hand over your chest space, and maybe press into the back of the head, tuck the chin, so the back of the neck is nice and long. And then try to soften here a little bit. Feel yourself grounding into the earth beneath you. Noticing all points of connection to the mat, the outer edges of the feet, the buttocks, the backs of the arms, the upper back. Notice the weight of the head as it firms into the mat beneath you. And just for one more moment, just allow the earth to receive you. Or heavy into the support of your back body. And take a moment here to set intention for your practice. And it can be difficult to practice on your own at home and to cultivate that kind of discipline. And perhaps now is a chance just to set the intention and notice what you would like to get out of this practice. And commit to it. Commit to this time that you have carved out for yourself. Let's take a full deep breath into that. Feel the belly rising into the right palm and then feel the breath rising all the way up into the left palm. Pause at the top of your breath and then on exhale, take a nice big open mouth, release all the way to empty, feeling almost the belly pull down towards the spine. Nice and your next breath in, sweep the arms up and overhead. Press the fingernails into the floor or the mat behind you. Just go for a nice big waking up stretch here. You can really firm the soles of the feet together, feel the inner thighs start to activate. And invite curves into the body. Just take a nice stretch. And then on exhale again, firm the feet together and take your hands underneath the lines of the knees. Pull inner legs together and squeeze the knees towards your chest. And then here, really feel the difference of the back body into the earth. So now the whole body is flush to the mat, the back of the head, the back of the heart, upper, mid, and lower back. And then notice as the knees pull in, the tailbone starts to round forward. So you have this slight rounding in the tailbone. And that is an important action here that you will want to find, especially in your tuck or in all your handstands, but especially tuck, tuck handstands. So in this shape, the knees tight to the chest, the feet flexed, and the slight curving down of the tailbone, you are basically in a lying down uh, handstand position. So keep that. Notice how the shoulders here, because you're laying on your back, are directly above the line of the hips. And you're going to try to find that when you're standing on your hands. On your next inhale, let's lift the nose towards the knees and squeeze the knees tightly towards the chest. Flex through the feet, you can point through the toes, feeling the tops of the feet get a nice stretch. Take a deep breath in here, and then on exhale, release your left leg forward. Keep the right knee tightly squeezing into the chest, so it's almost as if you're in a wind-removing pose. This action now is the same shape that you would want to find for a stag handstand, and we'll be working through that today. So we're going to work into the core a little bit, preparing the body for inversions. On your inhale, squeeze your knee towards your nose. On your exhale, lift your arms up and above your head and change left knee towards the nose. So we'll find a little momentum here. Inhale here, exhale, hands forward, right knee to nose. Inhale, left knee to nose, right leg forward, arms up and over. And exhale, change. Keep going. Inhale to squeeze knee to nose. Exhale, change. One more. And change, exhale, pause here, lift up a little higher, spread wide through both of your feet 
and then exhale, bring right knee towards your chest, extend the left heel down and find wind removing pose. Relax your jaw, your neck. Take a breath in and then on exhale, take a supine twist. So pull the right knee to the left, extend your right arm out towards the side and then maybe gaze towards that right palm. Breathe right into the right lateral side of the body. Hold one, two, and three, come back up, right knee to chest, pause. Now bring the left knee to meet the right, bring your nose towards your knees, inhale, give yourself a little squeeze, come back into that tuck-like shape. Okay, so we'll move to the other side now, so extend your right leg forward, but hover the heel above the mat. Inhale, lift your nose a little higher towards your knee, Extend your hands forward, and then on exhale, right knee to chest, arms up and over, left leg forward. Keep going, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more, inhale, and exhale. Left knee to chest, inhale, hold just below the knee, give yourself a big squeeze, deep breath in, lift as high as you can. Exhale, lower right heel down, Pull left knee to chest and then right hand draws left knee to the right. And this is going to feel really nice. Breathe into your belly. Try to foam down through that left shoulder, even if it means wiggling right hip towards the left side of the mat. And then really try to open up through the left chest, left armpits. And big breath in. Stay for your exhale. Okay, from here, core connect, come back up through your center and pull the knees to the chest once again. So also for this class, try to come out of any kind of back bending. So we're not, we're even going to skip our upward facing dogs. Okay, so start to rock forward and backwards now, rolling along the full length of the spine, gain a little bit of momentum, and then cross over your ankles, ground down your hands, and shift your knees back, coming into a tabletop position. Okay. Before we move into our drills, our handstand drills, we're just going to warm up through the wrists. First thing, turn your right fingers to face your right knee, your left fingers to face your left. And I think we've done this in a video before. You want to spread wide through the fingers, make sure your wrist creases are parallel to the top end of your mat. And then from here, instead of going into cat and cow like we did last time, just simply tuck the toes and take a couple little pulses. So you're going to just lean back for about one, two, three, four, and five. And take a nice stretch there. Try to distribute your weight evenly between all of your fingers. And then release, come forward, release right hand, release the left hand. And then these are a couple of little forearm press ups. Um, so you're gonna spread wide through the palms, your shoulders can be stacked above your wrist, and then try to plug down all of your fingers, except for your thumb. And then you're going to lift the thumb and the palm up off the mat. So press down through the fingers. Inhale, lift the center of the palm up. Exhale, firm the palm down and try to magnetize the two thumb tips together. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. All the while keeping shoulders away from ears. Inhale, lift. And exhale, lower. It's going to start to feel quite intense. Lifting for one, two, and three. Hold that one. And then exhale, gently lower all the way down. Just sit on the tops of your toes, stretching out the backs of the feet. And then just take a little shake of the wrists. You can roll them out. Okay, so if you're feeling a little bit of warmth and heat in the wrists, that's great. And if they're a little bit achy, you're, you're strengthening them, especially if you were really even through your palms. Okay, so let's come back down onto our hands. I didn't mention, which was silly of me, but you do need a block for this practice hopefully potentially two blocks so preferably two blocks so you're going to start with one block and take it between your thighs so for this exercise i'd like you to take it on that setting so this is its narrowest setting and this is its second setting so you're going to take it on its second setting place it between the thighs about five centimeters or so away from the pubic the, the pelvis and then you can sort of feel it out so it has to feel like you can really squeeze the block between the thighs Okay, place the palms down, tuck your toes, you're back into your tabletop position, 
And now you're going to tuck the toes, lean back and squeeze your block. So here I've got to draw my feet a little closer together to keep that block there. Now, notice you don't have this tuck, the tailbone rising towards the ceiling. So there's no sort of cow shape in the spine. You're going to really try to carve your tailbone down and find that cat-like action through the upper back. So here, tailbone tucks down. Again, you'll feel a slight rounding in the tailbone. So tailbone down towards the heels. And then you're just hovering the knees above the mat. Round through the shoulders. So protract through the shoulders. Hollow deeply the armpits. And hold. And you can start to feel like can you up it a little bit by drawing the two frontal hip points towards the armpits. So really working your lower abdominals. Take a deep breath in the legs. Keep squeezing that block. Hold three, two, one. Inhale. And then exhale, try to just lift your hips up and all the way back, coming into a downward facing dog. And this is going to feel really nice here, I hope. <laughs> Spread right wide through your fingers, stretch and lengthen through your arms. And then notice if you can start to feel this action because the legs have to work really hard when we go into handstand. So you're really wanting to pull up on your kneecaps. Try to spin the inner thighs up and back. So it's almost as if you want to press that block out behind you. Okay, you might want to lengthen your down dog a little bit. And we're going to come into high plank pose a couple times. So this is your inhale to down dog. Exhale, high plank pose. Now, find your high plank pose. Once again, tuck the tailbone, squeeze the block between your thighs. So it's almost like you want to send the block down towards your heel line. Hold, round your upper back, protract your shoulders, take a breath in, and then exhale, receive up and back, down dog. Again, inhale, high plank. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath into your downward facing dog. Stay for your exhale, stretch crown of head down. Big breath in, and then exhale, pop back down onto your knees, untuck your toes, and bring the block out from between the thighs. All right, from here, place one block on the top of your mat, take the other one, shoulder width apart, and then ground your hands on your blocks. So you're holding your blocks, three fingers point forward, your pinky and your thumb wrap around the inner and outer edge of your blocks. Okay, from here, we're just going to rise back into a downward facing dog, but it's going to feel really nice because you've got a lot of length here through your spine. So if you struggle ever to get your heels down, elevating the palms is a really helpful way to get more length through the spine and you might find that you can start to lengthen through the backs of the legs even more okay we're going to warm up a little bit more through our core and our upper back and shoulders so inhale high plank pose find your alignment checks balls of feet under heels hands under shoulders big breath in here on your exhale pivot both of your toes towards the left so all 10 toes to the left and you're firming down through the soles of both feet and then on an inhale, firm the right palm down and forward, lift your left arm up. So a side plank variation, lean right ear towards right side of mat. Okay, this is strong. Take a deep breath in here. On your exhale, lower halfway down, chatter around the chest higher than hips. No back bend, press up, high plank pose, breathe in. Exhale, toes to the right, heels to the left. Firm down and forward through your left hand, lift your right arm up, take a deep breath and open up through your chest space, your armpits. Exhale, ride it and find chaturanga. Inhale, press up, high plank. Exhale, toes left, heels right. Left arm rises, big breath in, only one more each side. Exhale, chaturanga. Press up, high plank, inhale. Exhale, toes right, heels left. Right arm rises, take a full breath and open and expand through the chest. And then one more time, chaturanga, exhale. If you want, up dog, just one time. Pull the heart through, firm the tops of the feet down. Stay for your exhale, let it feel really good. Take a full breath in here. And then on exhale, tuck chin, lift hips up and back, downward facing dog. Big breath in, complete breath out. Okay. We keep going. We're going to look for this little jump here. If you need to take a rest between sides, go ahead. Otherwise, stick with me. I'm going to bring the toes to touch. If you need to look at me, do one round and then join in. You can, or otherwise, follow along. 
Okay, so you're gonna come high to the balls of your feet, a little bit of a shorter downward facing dog. And then we're going to look for this plumb line. So the shoulders stack above the wrist. Keep protracting through the shoulders, round, hollowing through the armpits. We're gonna to try to kick our heels towards our buttocks. So balls of feet, breathe in. Bend your knees, remember that shape when you're laying on your back, your knees to your chest, you're gonna look for that. And then on an exhale, try to kick your heels to your bum and come back to down dog. So one, two, on three, step there or jump there, find chair pose. So toes touch between your blocks. Your palms, will, it'll feel nice to release the hands now. So inhale into your chair pose. Exhale, get a little bit deep into your shape. Now, take a big breath in. On exhale, stay in this little ball. See if you can lower down your buttocks to your heels and smoothly find Navasana. Inhale into Navasana. I smile because my students hate this. Exhale, feet forward, lower halfway down, draw navel to spine, low boat. Okay, rise up, inhale. Now, see if you can, you can use your hands if you need. Otherwise, exhale, pull heels to bum, split the knees, come back into your chair pose, close the knees, inhale. And then ground your hands on your blocks. Uttanasana, forward fold, exhale. Okay, here we go. Inhale, halfway lift your chest. See if you can skip the back bend, exhale, chaturanga. Press up, high plank, inhale, downward facing dog, exhale. Yes, we're gonna do that two more times. So, breathe. And balls of feet, inhale. Bend knees, exhale, heels to bump, and land. Utkatasana, inhale, arms rise. Exhale, lower down, heels to buttocks. Navasana, inhale, prepare, shoulders back, hands spread, toes spread. Exhale, feet forward, lower half down. Knees to chest, inhale. Heels to buttocks, lean forward, Utkatasana. Inhale, Uttanasana, exhale. Lift and lengthen, inhale, prepare. Jump back, Chaturanga, bend arms. Plank, inhale, down dog, exhale. Breath in. Breath out. Balls of feet, inhale. Last time, exhale. Try to kick your buttocks. Land your feet. Find your chair, inhale. Lower down, down, down. Exhale. Navasana, breathe in. Whew. Lower halfway down, breathe out. Last time, inhale. Feet down, knees split, Utkatasana. Another inhale. And Uttanasana, exhale, fold. Create breath in. Finish strong, Chaturanga. High plank, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Take a deep breath in here. And then pop yourself down to your knees. Exhale. Toes to touch, heels to bum. And then draw your blocks back slightly. Rest your elbow tips on the blocks. Take your hands into prayer and rest for one, two, and three. And then gently rise upwards and just take a moment here. Okay, so we have one more drill to warm us up for our full flow, which we'll only do one time. So it won't be too, too difficult. <laughs> I mean, it might be. Anyways, let's just see. Cut. All right, so we have one more drill to do before we get into the flow aspect of the class. So here, I would like you just to take one block aside and take the other block, place it in the middle of your mat. So it will be somewhere underneath your belly button when you come into a downward facing dog. So place the block down, lengthways, ground your palms, lift your hips up and back. Okay, so now we're gonna try and start these little drills. I want you to jump into a forward fold. So this is starting to trust your hands, remembering that you want to find this alignment of the shoulders above the wrist, the rounding of the upper back. Another little thing that I have said a couple times in my videos and in my classes is that you really want to try to maintain this action 
of externally rotating the upper outer arms. So imagine opening two jars with each hand. Okay, so we're gonna use our block as a little obstacle to try to get those hips in line with those shoulders. So place the block underneath the belly button, come to your downward facing dog, and then it's on its lowest setting, first round, just one time. Walls of feet, inhale, bend your knees, lean forward, look for the shoulder wrist alignment, and exhale, jump your feet, clear the block, and fold. Okay, come back to your starting point. Flip the block on its second setting, so a little higher. Don't jump around the block, that's cheating. You have to jump over the block. So it would be cheating if you went like this, but that's not the, not the thing. You're going to try to get over that block. Okay, so let's try. Walls of feet, inhale, bend your knees, and then try to squeeze heels to bum, and jump over. Exhale, fold. I was going to say that was very nice, but I have no idea what you did. Okay, and then last one. This one's really hard and scary. So this one you really want to try not to jump around, try to jump over. But if it's too much, come back and try the other setting again, so on the second lower setting. You might want to bring it back slightly underneath the belly. Okay, you, let's check this out. Balls of feet, inhale, try to clear that block, bend your knees, exhale, and then jump. And land, forward fold. I might have maybe cheated, but give it a try. Exhale, release. <sighs> Everything softens. Let's rise, first time, high mountain. Inhale all the way up, sweep the arms skyward, gaze towards your path. And then racing breath, exhale, hands to heart, sama stiti. All right, from now we're gonna just take a simple flow. You can do it on blocks or without blocks. And we'll move around the full length of our mat. All right, so when you're ready, find your sama stiti, equal standing pose. Reconnect to the earth beneath your feet, firm your palms into one another. Inhale, we rise, high mountain, gaze skyward. Exhale, fold forward and down over your legs, tuck chin to chest. Lift, lengthen, breathe in. Exhale, vinyasa to down dog. You can take a full one. You can simply step back to down dog. Okay, breath, big breath in and breath out. Okay, now remember that action of wind removing pose on your back. You're going to try to find that here. So inhale, squeeze right knee to nose, round your upper back. Exhale, step the foot through. Warrior two, root your feet, heel to arch alignment, left arm leads. Inhale, open up. Exhale, stay, find your shape. Okay, three breaths, each pose. So grounding yourself into the earth. Gazing over your right fingertips. Feel the firming down of the outer blade of your left foot. Hold three. Make sure you have a deep right angle bend in that right leg. Hold two. And your right knee is in line with your second toe. Hold three. Inhale, heels in, toes out, five-pointed star, pull up on your kneecaps, tuck your tail down. Exhale, same thing to the other side, warrior two. Have a look out for your alignment, it's heel to arch. Breathing with sound, one, two, and three. And this time reverse, flip the left palm up, take a nice lateral stretch on the left, firming the right palm to the outer right leg. Take a deep breath in, and then exhale, extended side angle. For this one, let's just take the forearm to the thigh and open the right arm up and over the head. Remember here, you don't want your buttocks sticking back out behind you. Tuck the tailbone down, hollow slightly through your belly, and reach the right arm up and over. If this left shoulder is hiking up into your ear, try to pull it away from the ear. Take another deep breath in. Exhale, right hand down, pivot ball of right foot. Easy twist, left arm skyward. Big breath in here. And then exhale, frame your left foot with your left hand low lunge. So we're gonna move into some switch kicks here. You can stay right here or you can move into the switch kicks with me. You'll plant your palms down, pull your left foot back slightly, lift your right leg. Then walk your hands forward. Again, find your alignment, shoulders above wrists, round through your upper back, hollow your armpits. Externally rotate through your shoulders. Okay, I know that's a lot. Now you start to find those little checks. Rise to the ball of the left foot. Now, with the switch kick, the bottom knee bends, the top leg remains dead straight, and the hips, squeeze, uh, the hips are level. So your inner thighs squeeze together. Point those right toes down. Okay, switch. So bend left knee, and then try to kick and switch. 
Take as many as you like, maybe hook a little balance. And when you're done, land the left foot down and let the right foot hover next to the left. So pull femur bone into hip socket and then gently place right foot to meet the left forward fold Uttanasana. Urdhva Hastasana, inhale, we rise, gaze palms. Exhale, hands meet heart, Samastiti. To the other side, arms rise, inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Lift, lengthen, prepare, inhale. Take it back to down bow, you can simply step there. And you find your down bow to the other side. So remember that action of wind relieving pose. Try to find that on your hands. Left knee to nose, squeeze, inhale, step through, exhale. Warrior two, slow motion, rise all the way up, and lead with that right arm, and then settle into your shape for your exhale. Soft gaze over left fingertips, strong legs. Five-pointed star, inhale, heels in, toes out, lift the fingertips up. Exhale, warrior two, to the right toes. Firming through your left glute, pulling out our right hip under. Find a slight drawing of your right heel energetically towards the inner arch of your left foot that will really draw a turn on your inner thighs. And then flip the right palm, reverse, inhale, full stretch. Exhale, extended side angle, forearm to the thigh, left arm up and over. Right shoulder rolls from here, barely draws to spine, right hip draws under. Hold three, two, one, breathe in. Easy twist, breathe out, left hand down, spin ball of left foot, lift the right arm up. Open and expand through the right chest, the right fingers spread wide. Big breath in. Right hand frames, right foot, breath out. Okay, take your switch kicks on this side or stay right here in your low lunge. Right toes draw back, left leg rises. Hands draw forward, find your plumb line. Ball of right foot to the right toe, the right knee bends, the left leg stays straight. So bending, so the kicker leg, in this case the right leg is always bent, the top leg is straight. And switch, and switch, and switch. And switch right foot forward, breathe in. Now flex your left foot, pull femur bone into hip socket and see if you can slow motion land. Left foot to meet the right, Uttanasana, fall. Rise, high mountain, inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, Samastiti. All right, so we'll, we'll add on one section and we'll work into that stag handstand. So again, when we come into the stag handstand kicks, you're gonna pull the right knee towards the chest. Again, it's like that wind removing pose. The tailbone tucks down, but the knee pulls to the chest and there's a slight rounding through the tailbone and then the arms will come up and over the head. So this is basically your handstand shape and we'll find that in this flow. Okay, high mountain, inhale, rise. Exhale, folding. Chest lengthens, breathe in and then step back, down dog. You can find your own way there. You meet in the down dog, you're going to stretch when you're ready. So we'll repeat the sequence up until a certain point and then we'll add on. Knee to nose, right knee to nose, inhale, squeeze. Step through, exhale. Warrior two, so a little faster this time, open up, breathing in. Stay for your exhale, ground into your shape. Five point star, inhale. Two to the back, exhale. Reverse inhale. Pasvakanasana, exhale. You can take any variation. Deepening it a little bit, hold three. Hold two. One, breathe in. Easy twist, breathe out. Open and expand into the shape. For this one, I want you to ground through your right palm, come into the outer blade of your right foot, and see if you can take Vashisthasana, any variation you like. One, two, three, breathe in, come back into your low lunge, breathe out. Okay, from here, you're gonna take those little stag handstands. So, pull your left foot forward, lift your right leg up, just like we did for standing splits, but this time this leg is gonna stay absolutely straight, and you're trying, to get, get, you're trying to get your left heel to your left glute. So give it a try, or you can stay in your low lunge. 
ball of right, ball of left foot, inhale, and then squeeze. Kick left heel to the buttocks a couple times. One, two, maybe find balance, and then land your left foot forward wherever you are, your right foot down, maybe you land more smoothly, warrior one, to rise all the way up, and then three grounding breaths here, exhale. Boom down the outer blade of your right foot. Lengthen your ribs up and away from your waistline. Take another deep breath in. Stay for your exhale. Now let's rise ball of right foot. So a really nice counter twist here. Rise to the ball of the right foot. Bring the hands to the heart and try to twist your right elbow outside of your outer left knee. Gaze over your left shoulder. Squeeze your left hip back. One more breath here. Stay. High press and lunge, you rise, breathe in. Hands meet the heart, activate through your right quad, breathing out, so tuck your tailbone down. Again, find that feeling of shoulders above hips, head above shoulders. Inhale, high press and lunge, arms rise. Airplane pose, exhale, everything remains level. Hips are level, toes point down. Try to take the curve out of the lower back by rounding slightly tailbone. Tuck chin, and then into your stag handstand, Standing on your left foot, right knee to nose, arms up and over your head, big breath in, and then simply step right foot to meet the left into Samastitihi. Exhaling. Okay, all of that to the other side, and then we're done, pretty much. Let's rise high mountain. Inhale. Make your flow your own. Exhale, fold forward over your legs. Lift and lengthen. Inhale, prepare. Step up, float, fly back, vinyasa to downward facing dog. Okay, last side. Glide forward, left knee to nose, inhale, squeeze. Hover and step foot between palms, exhale. Lead with right palm, warrior two, inhale, open up. Stay for your exhale, stabilize. Five point star, inhale, pull up on your kneecaps. Exhale, warrior two, over right leg. Flip the palm, reverse, big breath, and open up the right side of the body. Exhale, take the hand inside the line of the foot or to the thigh or to a block. Three breaths, extended side angle. Okay, big breath in here. And then exhale, left hand down right arm up. So you can stay right here in your easy twist or move into Vashi Stasana. So pivot your, turn your left toes, your fingertips out to the side slightly. Roll left shoulder from ear, come into outer blade of left foot, stack right foot on top of the left. Try to lift your hips, pull navel to spine. Hold three, two, one, breathe in. Back to your low lunge, breathe out. Okay, here's your handstand hops. Pull right foot back. Elevate left leg. Remember, left leg stays straight. Right knee bends. Search for your shoulder wrist alignment. Ball of right foot, breathe in. Try to kick right heel to bum for one, two, three, maybe hold. And land warrior one on an exhale. Arms rise up, big breath. Stay for your exhale ground down. So using the more static poses to root back into the earth, to come back to the intention you set for your practice. Okay, on an inhale, you're going to pull your hands to your heart, pivot ball of left foot and twist. Exhale. Hold three. Two, and one last bit here. High crescent lunge, inhale. Two right angles with your legs. Exhale, tuck the tailbone, lift the crown. High crescent again, inhale, arms lift. Hands back, leg up, aeroplane pose, exhale. Now slowly as you can, pull the left knee towards the chest. Lift your arms up and over your head, find that Handstand, shake, knee to chest, tailbone tucks down, lift through the crown, reach through your fingertips, breathe in, and left foot meets the right. 
Some as deep to heat and breathe all the way out. Okay, so now we're going to start a lovely, well-deserved wind down. All right, arms rise up, high mountain, breathe in, and then forward fold. Let's take ourselves all the way down to the belly. So lift, lengthen chest, breathe in, and just take a gentle step back, high plank pose. Find your high plank, breathe in, and then a slow lower down all the way to your bellies. Untuck your toes. Let's move for one round of cobra. Tops of feet press down, pull up your kneecaps, breathe in, and lift your heart through. Pull your elbows into your waistline, stay for your exhale. Shoulders from ears, inhale, and lower down, exhale, forehead towards the mat. All right, from here, let's take a floor bow, a lovely shoulder release, bending your right knee, bending your left knee, flexing your feet. You'll remember this from back bend class. Hands go forward, thumbs rotate down, internally rotating the shoulder heads, and then reach back, grab the outer edge of your ankles. Okay. Inhale, we'll just take three breaths here, kick back, open up. So really using this pose more than anything to access openness through your shoulders. Remember to protect the lower back by drawing belly in and up. You can keep the thighs plugged to the mat or lift them up. Three, two, one, breathe in. And then exhale, slow release down, toes touch. You can rest your hands on top of each other, forehead on the palms and just shake out for a moment. All right, and then we'll rise up one more cobra, but to child's pose. So inhale, lift into your cobra, exhale, toes touch at the back of the mat, send your hips to your heels and release down. And then just keep your hands low, slip your hands up towards the line of the knees, hands come behind you, slip out right foot, slip out left foot. And then let's move into a reverse tabletop here. Fingertips face the buttocks, firm your feet down, and then just open up through the shoulder heads again. So similar shape to floor bow, just inverted. Breathe in one, two, and three, lower down your hips. Let's extend right foot, extend left leg. Simple Paschimottanasana, you're more than welcome to use your strap around the ball of the feet. You can use your block around the tops of your feet too. So I'm going to try that. Firm down through your sit bones, take your block, lift it up and over your head. And then here you can really reach the block up, firm the palms together, pull shoulders from ears. Anchor your lower ribs in and back, breathe in. And then lengthening forward, those of you that have the flexibility, maybe you can place the block in front of the balls of the feet, create length and then fold yourself forward and down. Another couple of breaths here. Feel for going deeper. You can always wiggle the one bum back and then the other one bum back. Slow motion, rise up, keep your butt close by, bend your knees and simply roll down onto your backs. Okay, and then settle for a moment. Final pose is a bridge pose with the support of a block. You're going to firm your feet down, lift your buttocks up, place that block onto the sacrum. Again, it's on its second wider setting. It's a little more comfortable. If that's quite uncomfortable, you can place two blocks there. Tuck the shoulders, shoulder blades pulling down the spine. You can even interlace your hands. Place the heels of the hands down. And then just soften. Close your eyes. Feel the breath in the belly. Feel the spaciousness between your two frontal hip points. breaths here if you like you can take any variation some of you might want to take the variation of the shoulder stand knees to chest legs up to ceiling but only if you feel stable and if you know if you know what's putting okay and then when you're ready you can meet us there 
meet me there rather, put your feet down, lift up your buttocks, take your block away and slowly, it's quite nice even to go side to side, wiggle upper back, middle back, lower back down and rest just like we started, Sukta Baddha Konasana for your Shavasana. If this is not comfy, you can lay back like a, a starfish, opening your legs out and your hands out wide, and always simply stay here. And let it go. Just take a moment to integrate all of that into your muscle memories, your cellular memories. And receive the medicine of movement. Take about three minutes here. Shabbat